Hey yo, what is up guys, it's your boy Toy here. This will be a video on something that recently came out and that is a skip tickets and I do get some questions here and there on where you should be using. And I have my own opinion obviously because, well, uh, I find that within my roster and within my account I only have one option whatsoever. But let's go over a few things that you might want to take into account. But the first question is where can you acquire them and if you clear Tower of Challenge five times during the week, you can get up to 40 tickets for free every single week. Then on a minor note, with a pocket change, you can get up to 70 with 300 rubies every single week as well. And it shows that it resets every Monday. But if you still don't want to play this game and have more money than time on your hands, you can decide to unlimitedly buy as many tickets as you possibly want. But let's face it, I don't think this video is made for people that do have more money than time on their hands. So then the biggest question is, where do you use them? Well, for one, we can use up all my cubes and challenges. Go up to the Tower of Challenge, decide to say, oh, I'm going to skip out like on everything with them. Uh, this, in my opinion, is one of the worst things that you can do. Because although it only costs one ticket per cube, at the end of the day, uh, these will be refilling every single week up to 80, which means that at the end of the week, you won't be having anything. Now, Lab is quite on an equal note on that. But the only thing is you only get 40 tickets every single month and guess what you get 40 tickets every single week which will in turn net you with more tickets that you can use. However, let's face it, this is not the hardest piece of content. So would this really be the one that you go with? I do not think so because if you got yourself a pretty decent team, getting up to floor 5 with all of the rosters it doesn't take up that much time to do it once again. I set a record time within one hour where I used up all these keys and I probably feel there could be more if I min max everything. However, let's face it, once you have completed it once already, why not be able to do it again with some time on your hands? And judging by the same statement where if you've already cleared it once, why not do it again? Uh, Sharkmat is on a quite similar value. Reason for this is you can use little Sharkmat, put it on auto, and whether you have a 5%, 10%, 50%, or 100% clear rate, it will keep autoing. It doesn't matter if you die once, twice, a gazillion times. So for that matter, it just takes time. It is on a 1 to 2 ratio, which means 1 helm equals 2 tickets, which overall takes you a little bit of tickets, which you can then not use for something else. And knowing that Big Shark takes up 30 tickets for a single entry, that itself will make it very costly, which in that matter, you will not be able to use it anywhere else. And then last but not least, you got yourself Eclipse, where if you get yourself a very nice record, you save this one up and get yourself on a singular click, cost yourself 20 tickets and get yourself a ridiculous amount of gold ethers, like I do. But then again, this might not be for everybody, so let's go over a little bit of theory crafting, knowing that you can get 40 tickets every single uh, week, which means times four every single month, you can get up to 160. The reason why I do this per month is because the shark mat is a thing that you do every single month and lab is also every single month. So you get 160 tickets. Knowing that uh, Shockman will take you about uh, 30 tickets to start out with and then uh, the 60 attempts will also cost you uh, 60 times 12 which is minus 120 which will net you with 10 tickets left to do anything. So doing little big Shockman doesn't necessarily seem to be an option unless you are willing to spend a little bit of rubies to get 120 tickets extra. So judging by just the free tickets altogether, doing it this route doesn't seem to be that well. However, if you want to look at the Eclipse side of things, which means that every single week, you can get yourself up to 105% Eclipse bar, which means one Eclipse ticket every single week because every time, every day that you log in, you get 15%. So 15% times seven is 105%, which equals one Eclipse ticket. So if you can do that every single week, minus 80 which means that you will have 80 tickets left this will still allow you to do your big shock man if you really don't like it whatsoever but something that you might want to take into consideration is that you are not only just logging in you are also spending stamina and it will take you about 150 to 160k stamina to fill up another bar but then a real question popped into my head how many stamina can you get within a month i can get 200 stamina potions from the gin shop you can get about 20 to 25 stamina potions from the Battle of Ordeals. You can get 20 
potions every single day so that is 140 every single week depending on how much league of honor you play you can get an infinite amount of stamina potions over here and depending on what kind of guild you are in you can get about 100 to nearly 200 stamina potions as well every single week now if we net these all together then we got 200 every single week from the gin shop we got ourselves 140 from the daily logins we got ourselves about 25 let's write it out to 20 because that's the bare minimum of what you can get from the battle of our deals and you can get right about 100 stamina potions every single week from just doing your guild dailies and that kind of means that your guild has to be able to complete everything but i don't think nowadays it's the hardest thing to achieve so you got yourself 460 stamina potions times 150 so you can get yourself a uh, 60 <laughs> didn't even know this was gonna pop up every single week so that is nearly half of the requirement of what you need to get yourself a um, extra clip however there's more so that means that the 69 is going to be plus 10.5 so that is almost 80k stamina that you can get quite freely and that is without all of the other additional potions that you can get i believe that if you do play every day that this is achievable on every single week so nearly 80k stamina which is half of the requirement of another eclipse ticket this in turn means that your eclipse will be done six times every single month depending on if you do actually spend all the stamina that you can get every single week this in turn means a six times two is 120 tickets minus which means there are 40 tickets left now this sounds interesting because at that point you could then still do your big shock man leave that content alone and just get all of the rewards without having you to min max everything once again after you've acquired it once now this seems to be the most optimal for a lot of people however if you do have more stamina you might be leaning into actually not using the big shock man ticket as well now if you have unlimited stamina such as i do the only thing i'm going to be using the for is eclipse because all of the other content i can just breeze through it whatsoever but i think this will shine a light on where you should be using your tickets i might have done something wrong my math could be incorrect put it down into the comments if it is if you have any other suggestions which i have not taken into account put it there as well i'd like to know if you found this helpful at any other point make sure to like and sub if you haven't already and i'll see you guys into the next one Peace.